everyone, Amanda here from Create with Scrimpy and Mama. So today I've got another lovely kind of journal insert mini folio type project to share with you. I really love creating these. They're a lot quicker to make than a full journal and you can still have awesome fun with them. Make a collection of them to gift together in a box or add it to a journal or just have it as a standalone project. So um, I'm going to do a quick flip through of this and then there's going to be a full tutorial on how to make the base. So if you stay to the end, then you'll be able to make this for yourself. So on the front here, we've got one of the little mini books. If you look back in my videos, there's a tutorial on this along with a link for a free download. So you can make this little mini book charm yourself. Okay, so I've got a just a little lace closure here. So let's untie it and get inside. It's so cute. Okay, so the closure um, is on an eyelet front and back. Okay, so it needs to pull out all the way. So here we've got a flip pocket on the front cover and that's held together by this amazing um, hidden paper clip. And it's a fantastic variation on the paper, hidden paper clip. And I followed a tutorial by Kathy Arta on this. So if you want to see how to make the base and then you can stick anything on and you get the full length of the paper clip, then hop on over to her channel and have a look. So here we've got a pocket and in the pocket I've added some little tags. I am using the Floral Grace floral grace collection which is my own paper that i've designed and um, there's a link to that in the description box below um so that's a little pocket which flips open like so sharing the lovely papers here then we've got this um tiered pocket so we've got one of my all from the kit everything you see is all in the kit and then i made some journaling cards and a larger journaling card then when you've removed the journaling card you can see that the papers along the pockets run concurrently as it were so that's really pretty then you open it like so and we've got a um angled pocket there which is holding two little tags and then the back there is a cutaway uh angled pocket with some journaling tags in Okay, and then here we've got a pocket and in this pocket we have a little tag. We've got a little fold out journaling card or you can put photographs in. You just can't put too much in here because it's only got a quarter of an inch spine. Then we've got a, another larger journaling card which I've made using the papers. And then here we've got this lovely image of the flowers sat on top of the suitcase and this opens up. Okay, so that opens that way and then this section with the pocket folds down and inside here we've got a little notebook okay so the notebook is replaceable as it's held on with a humble paper clip so that just slides through the middle section of the note notebook papers which I just literally cut and folded in half and then it slides on the back of this pocket design um, and so then it goes back up like so you put your cards in to lock it and at the back there you've got another pocket for another beautiful journaling card so it holds an awful lot and then on the back here we've got a lovely um big pocket with a lovely big journaling card in okay so i think that's lovely and it look how much it holds <laughs> look how much it holds it holds all of that it's amazing um so if you'd like to see how this is made and try one for yourself check out the rest of the video okay so let's start creating so we're going to start with the base first so the base measures 10 and a quarter by seven and we're going to score at five inches and five and a quarter to give us a quarter of an inch gusset and then uh, fold uh, the gusset ink it all and that's your ba basic base okay so we're going to start with the front first so i'm just going to lay it that way and we're going to start with the pockets so the first pocket here measures eight by three okay and we're scoring on three sides half an inch okay cut across where the score lines meet to mitre and then fold and burnish and then we've got a second pocket and this measures eight 
by one and three quarters again score on three sides um but this one doesn't need actually need folding that's a guide to slip into that one so you only really need to fold the two sides so we're just going to get these on and i've prepped everything most stuff in advance to try and make the video a little bit quicker um so hopefully you can follow along all right so this one's first pocket which is the larger one wants to go on the front of your base uh right up to the score line and flush top and bottom okay like so and then the second one you're just going to glue on the two sides And that's going to slide it inside and it's going to slide into the flaps of the first pocket so you're going on top of those flaps okay not underneath them and then where you've scored there is a guideline kind of of where to stop okay And although this pocket's shorter because we've not glued the bottom of it, it will slide, your journaling card can slide all the way and behind this pocket here. So you've got the full full length there. Okay. Now, whilst we're here, we're going to do the back pocket. Okay. So this is the front. So close your book, then turn it over. And this one measures, the back pocket measures four by eight so all, they're all the same length at eight inches we're scoring at half an inch on three sides again cut across where the score lines meet and burnish it okay then glue the three sides and again this wants to go towards the spine so I'm just going to disengage the spine by folding the booklet flat to make it easier for myself. And I am attaching this to the back close to the spine and flush top and bottom and flush with the spine, with the edge. Okay. And then, so we've got, so far, we've got two pockets on the front and one pocket on the back. So we're going to go inside now and we're going to do a slanted pocket. So the slanted pocket measures six by five and a half and we are putting it in the scoreboard and we're going to score on three sides. Okay, so then what you want to do is measure from the outside edge in at two inches and make a mark. And the same here. You're going to measure from the bottom outside edge up at two inches and make a mark. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. Then you put it in your scoreboard and you join up those two pencil marks. Don't worry if it's not 100% perfect, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Save this triangle here. Okay. So then you want to fold the and burnish those edges and we're going to cut across where the score lines meet there and there okay i'm just going to quickly ink mine because this one isn't inked now i've done mine in white cardstock the advantage to using black cardstock is that you don't have to ink the edges okay so it's up to you what you use but i'm going with white at the moment so then this piece here that you've cut off okay what you want to do here is bring your scoreboard you've already got a half an inch on one edge you want to put a half an inch on the edge that hasn't got one and we can use this off cut to make a second pocket so fold and burnish those you want to cut across the where the score lines join there and then just fold that up and fold that up and where these are protruding trim those off and again for this one i just need to quickly ink it 
so most of my other pieces are already inked so you won't need to watch me inking everything okay now you want to glue this one onto the larger one okay so fold the the scores parts in and line it up with the corner so that it's flush at the bottom and flush at the side and meets at the corner so you've got a layered pocket on top of a pocket then you want to glue the three sides on the larger one and we're going to attach the oops I've dropped it we're going to attach this so there's your front we're going to attach it on the inside of the front panel flush top and flushed with the bottom i beg your pardon okay and flush with the side i've just noticed that that pocket there is protruding ever so slightly i'm just gonna see if i've got a chance to move this front pocket just bear with me right. put this on again it's dropped off Line it up. Line it up with the side, with the corner and with the bottom. If it's not 100% perfect, it's just a journal insert. It really, you know, don't worry about it. Some things come with practice. Mine aren't always perfect, but I don't worry about it. So that's that section. Okay, so now we've got two slightly more complicated parts. We've got a little book, a little pocket that's going to attach onto here, and we've got the notebook section that's going to go here. So I'm going to do the notebook flap section first, okay, because it's all prepped. So you're going to need, we're going to make the notebook holder in two sections. So the long section measures 11 and a half by 4. And you're going to score it at five inches and fold it. You want to round this smaller section round the corners. Okay, so that's that bit. Then your second piece measures four and a half by four. And on the four and a half side, you're scoring at half an inch. Doesn't matter which way, whether you score at half an inch or at four. You want a half an inch flap, which you then mitre and round the opposite corners, okay? Then this, you wanna put glue on the inside. And it's going to attach to the back of this taller section, like so, to create a flap. Okay. So you've got this, all right? And then on the front, we've created a pocket. Now, this pocket measures five by three. Score at half an inch on three sides. Okay. Again, cut across where they meet to make those flaps. Whenever you do the flaps, make sure they don't overlap each other at the back. All right. Glue on three sides. And attach this to the bottom of the notebook flap flash at uh, flush side to side flash no we're not cleaning the bathroom flush side to side and lined up with the bottom okay and that's giving you a pocket all right so for your note for your papers inside I have got this dotty paper. Now, this measures four inches wide, so I've got the full length of an A4. It doesn't really matter about the length. And I've cut it to just under four so that it doesn't protrude. It's about three and seven eighths. Full A4, I think I've got, how many sheets have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I've done six sheets, but it's in the lightweight 80 GSM copy of paper you can have less and then all I've done is folded it in half now I'm not going to sew this or anything um what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a humble paper clip because then that makes this a removable item and you can renew it when it's done so just paper clip half of it where you've scored and then that can just simply attach to the side of the flap 
like so okay like i say it means that it can be replenished when it's used okay so then that is that section now to keep this flap closed you can make uh, little inserts so the first insert here i've made like a, a fold out so this measures seven and three quarters by three and seven eighths and that will slip in that pocket there it should do if i've not glued it shut now it's always easier to slide inserts in and out of pockets when it's dry i've done a second insert here at three and seven eighths by six so it will hold quite a lot okay i'll just make sure that that's not going behind where the it's not quite my pocket's not quite dry yet so my insert just slid behind the flaps of the pocket we don't want that let me just readjust it you don't want these slipping behind where your flap your half inch flaps are um it normally happens when your ink when your glue is not dry there we go that's better Okay, and then this whole thing, you want to glue on three sides and it's going to go on this section here. So by gluing just top, side and bottom, you're giving yourself the opportunity of another pocket there. Okay, if you don't want another pocket, you can glue the whole thing. Or it just means you can tuck some ephemera or something. Now, really, ideally, you want to layer some paper in fact i'm just going to very quickly layer some paper behind there because i want to um continue to decorate this <laughs> so this measures five by seven i think it does let me just double check yeah five by seven so when you're matting and layering it just needs to be just less so sorry to this is going to make the video a little tiny bit longer but i need to do this before i layer that on or else so five so i'm going to go to four and seven eighths and it's seven high so i'm going to go to six and seven eighths that then gives me a uh, eight just a, a small border all the way around let me just move that I just need to very quickly ink that. And this is the same process for layering all of your pages and all of your elements. Just cut it an eighth of an inch shorter on the height and the width. Okay. So this is to go on the inside panel here. And then once that's layered on, then you can add your notebook. And I've glued it. Yeah, that's it. So like I say, I've glued on three sides. I'm going to centralise this now on here. Okay, so that I've got an even border all the way around. Top, bottom, side to side. And then that is now attached. Okay. So you've got two little tag elements, you've got your flap, that folds down, you've got your notebook, okay? I'm just going to... I'll leave those out for now rather than messing about. Right, so now we just need to do the pocket flip on the front okay so before we do i'll show you the tag so this tag will fit in this pocket here okay i'm not going to force mine in while the glue's dry six and seven eighths by four and a half that will go in there and then this one is slightly smaller but you could make it into a tag or it can be a, a card six and seven eighths by three and a half that will go in there okay so that's that bit Right, so now we just need to do the pocket flip. Okay, so this one is just a little bit more in depth. So for the pocket pocket flip, 
this measures 11 and 3 quarters if you're in america you'll have to just to resize it ever so slightly take quarter of an inch off that section and quarter of an inch off that section and just shrink it down 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters on the long side you're scoring at two and a half and eight and then you turn it on the short side and you score both sides at half an inch. Okay, fold and burnish everything. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to, you've got a longer piece, which is the, right. So the, the longer piece here is your pocket and the shorter piece is your flap. Okay. So on this pocket section here, what you want to do is rectangle there you're just going to mitre to the corner and then remove it like so okay can you see do the same at the other side mitre towards the corner and then remove it okay and then up and then you want to remove all of the rest of that you don't need it okay so i'm going to turn it that way and i'm going to remove all of the rest of the half an inch make sure you're taking the score line away at the same time okay and if you haven't then go back and trim it i'll do it with your trimmer in the first place it's up to you just left some of the score line in there let me just remove it Okay, and then I'm going to do this side as well. So I'm going to cut from this side. Just because I'm right-handed, it just makes it easier. But however's easy for you, just remove those two sections. Okay. Just left some of the scar line in there, so I'm just going to go back and readjust it. That to do for me. Now what I'm going to do is just round the corners of the flap. Rounding the corners when you're doing folios and um, little journal inserts, if you round your corners, it will stop. It, well, it will reduce the risk of it getting all bent and bent up. Okay, because it's just a smoother edge. So then all you need to do is fold in those two flaps on the bottom there and we're going to glue them to just make a very simple pocket. push it up like so now i'm going to need to ink mine because i want to use it <laughs> and it wants to ink both sides because you are going to see both sides because we're going to make it into a it's going to be a flip pocket so it's going to rotate oops i just need to ink that bit before my glue dries there we go, let's put it back down. All right. All right, that's that bit. So we want that to be, to dry. Then you've got a, um, a one inch joining strip. So the joining strip measures one inches by five and a half. You score it in the middle at half an inch. So you're going to stick it on the back at the left side of your pocket, okay? So on the left side, because you want your pocket to flip like that, okay? So put some glue on there. And you're sticking that on the back at the left side. Line it up. Turn it over and do it. Line it up. Now this needs to be quite straight or your flip mechanism won't work. You know, it'll catch when you're turning it. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's lined up perfect. All right, and that's pretty good. Okay, so now you bring your booklet back and this is going to now glue this strip here, glue the back of it. Okay, 
close your flap and you want to glue this central on top of pocket A and flush up to this edge to the spine okay so on top of there flush to the spine and you want it a fairly even border top and bottom i mean it's up to you you can stick it where you want but that's how i've done mine so flush against the spine i've got it even top and bottom and you'll also see that this lines up with the edge of the um pocket b okay and there's a reason for that and i'll show you in a minute Right, so I'm just going to flip it and make sure that it opens and it's not sticking or in the way and it's not. Right, so you can add a policy closure here if you like. However, what I'm going to do, mine's just shifted, just let me put it back because my glue's not dry. Let things dry in between and make sure that that is always lined up with the edge of that pocket. The reason being, instead of adding a policy closure, you can simply keep all of that closed with a lovely hidden paper clip, which is what I've done on mine. Okay, and that will keep that flap closed and it will also keep the flap of the pocket closed and stop the pocket flapping about. Then all you do is remove that. You can access your pocket and you can flip that. Okay, and then like I say, you've got your tags that fit in those. Okay. And this tag here, the larger one at six and seven eighths by four and a quarter, will also fit in the back pocket. So they're the same. All right. So let's, I'll just add my larger tag in there. And then that keeps that flap closed. So you don't have to make policy closures for everything. But you can if you want. So that's how it's made. Okay, I hope you'll give it a try. I'm off to go and decorate mine now. You will see it at the beginning of the video. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.